What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Jeff and I'm joined by Jamie. And today we are going to compare 2207 and 2306. That describes the actual size of the motor. So by a 2207 what that means is it's 22 millimeter wide stator by 7 high and this one 23 wide by 6 high. One's, one's a, a little, little bit skinnier and taller yeah. and the other one's a little bit wider and shorter. It's like Drew and I except our motors are backwards. <laughs> the other numbers you're going to find on the motor are the KV, per, revolutions per volt. Yeah. So these are both the same, they're both 2650 KV. So what that means is if you were to feed this motor one volt, it's going to spin 2650 RPM. We're going to do a blind test. We're going to take myself, Jamie, Ladrib, and Mr. Captain Vanover. We're each going to fly. After we finish flying both of the quads, we're going to take a guess and see if we can figure out which quad is which. Yeah, so what do you guys think is going to happen? Let us know down in the comments right now. Make some predictions. Is everybody going to be more like in the 2207 or the 2306? I'm kind of curious if anybody can guess the quads, because I don't think you're going to be able to tell that big of a difference. I agree. I don't think it's going to be that much of a difference, but you never know. We'll find out. Alrighty, so we're out here in the field and we are going to conduct some scientific tests here, some scientific double blind studies, and the Vortex motor is guaranteed to come no, out on no, top. No, 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 no. I heard you earlier talking all that <laughs> all that garbage, that malarkey. It's shinier. You're... This is more uh, aerodynamic, it's gonna be less resistance and therefore much faster. I think my wider stator is gonna give me more torque. There may be something to that. Like your motors are going to be smoother and his are going to have more torque. Right. Like his are going to be punchier and yours are going to be more smooth and mellow. Why is that? Um, because I think that the height and the shortness is just going to produce quicker power, if that makes sense, and yours is going to be nice and smooth. Now, each of us is going to get to try both quads. So the pilot will put their goggles down, hold the radio, and someone else is going to plug it in. You'll fly one, then you'll fly the other. And then you have to guess which is which, and we'll see if any of us can guess it correctly. We don't have Bardwell here with us, okay? This is gonna be bro science to the max. Uh, hey, Joshua. You, Joshua, we need your help. The uh, what are you doing? I'm streaming. We're, no, we. I need your help. The uh, the other pilots, they didn't they didn't really know what the the difference is between 2207, 2306. Uh, 2207 is taller. Okay. And 2306 is wider and shorter. But what is that? Like, so what does that 2207 mean? 2207 has a, a less linear throttle curve. It has more top end. 2306 is going to have a little more torque down in the bottom, but a more linear. No, just like what's curve. better? It's a Q and A. You're supposed to be in the chat you know, asking which questions. Which motor is better? Which is better? I like 2207. But mine's a 2306. You're going you get first. to go first. Okay. <laughs> Feels like a quad. <laughs> what would you be able to tell? Like what kind of maneuvers? Like I feel like going one way and then going the other way will give you a good idea of the torque. It's got good power. It's probably a vortex motor. That's what I'm thinking so far. Now both of these quads have the same rates and all that stuff as well. Like yeah. everything's exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, everything. It's all exactly the same. Same flight controller, ESC rates, PIDs. It's all identical. Which kind of isn't ideal, you wouldn't theoretically actually want the tune to be the same for both motors, but that's what we did. Jeff and I are both kind of like less sensitive, you know, we'll, yeah. we'll just fly whatever we get handed. Yeah. Alright, land it, but don't take your goggles off till I grab it and hide it. Gotta hide the truth. Alright, this is your boy's second flight. Don't have a great memory, like, I already forgot what that flight felt like. I think it was good. I think this one will probably do the same thing, but we'll, well, maybe I'll be wrong. Um, it feels exactly the same. You can't tell a difference? No. Maybe that's part of this blind study. Is it kind of overall just feels like weak though. Like that's why I'm... He feels weaker? Bringing up the batteries. Just both of them do. Like, or maybe it's the props. Yeah, it's probably the props. You're flying a T-motor prop. This yeah. is an HQ 5.1 by 4.1 something. I would say this does feel a little less powerful than the other one. But it's hard to say. I feel like this battery is worse. It's the same, well, it's not the same battery, it's the same brand, it should be the same. Because I've been flying for one minute, I'm at 14, yeah, it's coming back up, but it was... Well, is, like, it, is it the battery worse, or is the motor more amp hungry? Uh, it could be one of, uh, who knows? Well, you that never would know. make sense. I mean, I would think that Vortex's motors would be more amp hungry since they're taller. So you think these are Jeff's motors then? Yes. If they're taking more power, I would think that they're his because in my experience, the ones that I've had, I've always flown the larger, flatter motors. Um, 
they don't seem to be as amp hungry for me. Jamie's so sciencey. <laughs> Bring her in. I don't know, hard to say. Was it the battery or was it the motors or was it the motors causing the battery to die faster? I don't know. That's why we have three of us because one person I don't think is enough. These are my quads. So yeah, totally. I'll be the most knowledgeable, probably the most likely to be able to guess. And You're Jamie's like totally blind. Totally blind. You've never flown any of this gear, any of the motors. And I've been flying 6S lately and these are both 4 Both 4S. Oh so, yeah, so she's like, this is weak. This it's it's going to be interesting for me. Does it feel like it has more or less power than what you usually fly? Um, Honestly, it doesn't feel that different. And I know that sounds terrible because it obviously has different power, but... Do you think it feels similar to like your 6S rig? Well, it shouldn't be too far yeah. off. I mean, it does, she it does. flies lower KV, so the I RPM do fly, is similar. Yeah. Right, it, so these are both high KV four cell. So it's like two theories in how to get power. So Jamie uses higher voltage. Jeff and I are just using more amps with the higher KV. Watching Jeff's and thinking what I was thinking before, I think these are his motors. You just plugged in a new battery uh -huh. on that quad that he just landed. They definitely seem, they're punchy. I like that. Like if I was looking for a motor, I would look for how punchy these are. I like Link the in the description. All hype train motors are available at riot.com. <laughs> Bringing it in. Oh, 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 hey, that's a trick. Don't peek. You can't look. Oh, yeah, I can't look. I won't peek either. <laughs> oh, that's noisy. Does it feel any different? It does. Um, in the turns, it feels different. And I know that all the rates are the same, so I don't know why, but it does feel like this is looser. How about power-wise? That seems like it's a little zippier. Oh yeah, and it is pulling more amps. Well, I turned off, you don't have amps shown in the on-screen display. No, but I have, well, okay, the voltage. You see the voltage dropping faster? Yeah. I should have turned that off too. Oh, this seems a little more powerful to me. The to quad say. itself is flying not as well as the other one at all. There is a difference and I don't know if it's, this has just got like funky quad problems, but I do like the other ones better. Like the other experience was much better than this you think one. there's more power or smoother or what? It's, I would say that the response is more fluid and this one is like really touchy and really loose. And like I said, I know it's not rates or anything like that, but. Mm -hmm. I do want to get Van over in on this because yeah. not that he knows anything, but I think he'll be very opinionated. I think he would say, oh, that's, that's definitely for sure. It's this one. Yeah. I'm Alex Van over. <laughs> You're right. Oh, did you take the OSD up? Yeah. I noticed a slight difference that would tell me which one it was. Yeah. It's a quad, all right. It's definitely a quad. It feels like my everyday setup. But you fly this frame every day as yeah. well. Yeah, everything is the same except for the motors. But based on how this feels, I'm guessing this is my motor because it just feels perfectly like what I fly every day. This is also like a spot I fly all the time. I have all the advantage. I fly this spot more <laughs> than you guys and fly it all the year. I'm pretty sure these are mine and they're the best damn motors ever. <laughs> this right here, this is the juice. This is uh, the hot fire. <laughs> that was stupid. I went blind on that one. All right, I'm gonna land it over yonder. Those are mine. Is it, gonna, so good. Is it gonna hurt your feelings if they're not? No. Oh, it's so bright. I'm just, there's just, there'd have to be some sort of external factor, you know? I'm really curious. There'd have to be like aliens interfering or, all right. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, it feels exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Still feel right at home, don't you? Yeah, let me see. These have less power than what I'm used to, I think. This one is flying, I think this is the one that is flying a little worse. It feels less kind of locked in. Like it feels real loose, right? Wait, which one did you think was the loose one? Uh, the second one that I flew. Which you thought were my motors? Yes. Wait, are these my motors? It's hard to tell, isn't it? <laughs> Are these my, which, it feels, I mean, I feel very comfortable with it though. I turned off my on-screen display because I wanted to do it with as little clues as possible. This one kind of feels like the battery has drained faster and therefore just all around worse. This is the Vortex motor and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this, oh wow, yeah, the battery's low. Definitely lower, but it's so close. It is so close. I would be perfectly fine in either. Wasn't a huge difference, but I want to commit. I want to commit, I want to be bold. I think I flew my motors first and they were far superior. <laughs> I'll re I have to reveal for both of you guys. 
So I'll just reveal in the order we went. I wrote it down in case I forgot. Uh, I couldn't tell the difference, but I would say I flew your motors first. You flew my motors first and your second. You have no preference over which was which? You just think they were exactly the same? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The same. <laughs> if anything, it was more the second battery wasn't as good, or like you haven't flown that that other quad until today, so you haven't done really any tuning. You just yeah, I just flashed out. It. It, so it didn't fly tune. quite as good. So you think maybe yours a little didn't weaker, fly quite as good? But I would definitely not say that those motors are weaker because your quad altogether feels weaker than my quad. It's just well, mine's heavier. That's hard to believe. Actually, no, it's not. Mine's your quad's really heavy. It's know. probably a prop pairing or, then. It, it, that's an, that's I'm the using other thing. a heavier prop, and you you typically fly these really lightweight, skinny T motors. Yeah. So, this you probably have a prop I that's feel like better these get paired. Get spinning faster. Yeah. Than what the this motor and on your the props you're using. I'm using heavy, and that's that's kind of the thing is so both of these are high KV motors. It's just so tricky, man. To be you never, you'll fully never know. scienced out, we'd have to try this on like six multiple different props, frames, multiple frames, multiple frames, different frames. size batteries, and with and without the GoPro. And everyone's gonna tell us. I know, I know, we could have done it better. We're doing our best. And you thought which one? Did I you thought I flew Jeff's first and your second. And which did you like more? And I liked the first ones better. So you like Jeff's motors first. God, they both guessed it. Yes, you did fly Jeff's first. Yeah. And she liked yours more. So you they won felt, with her. Okay. But but like I said, I don't know if it was based on that the other quad, it wasn't flying as well. Uh-huh. Like the quad, my, itself, the quad with my motors wasn't flying as well. Yeah. But he thought the opposite. Yeah. So it's... It's tricky. Ah, what is it? No, I, I did like the first one What first. do you think you flew first? I, I want to be bold. I want to commit to my decision. I believe I've flew mine first. Wrong! Are you serious? Yes! No, I'm kidding. Oh, oh damn! God. I was like, no! <laughs> was no! So no, you were, like, you were yes. right. I was right? <laughs> yeah. So it was mine first. And yep. I, did, I did like it a little better. Yep. You wouldn't pair the same props with both motors, more than likely, if you're one of those people that cares about that. They're so similar, though. It's, it's just similar. the stator size. I mean, it's the same... The motors are the same winding style. Yeah, They're both multi-strand windings. if we put those props on your motors, we would see very similar... Like, I don't know. I don't think it's don't all know. of a sudden going to make that one more powerful. Bottom line is they're just hardly different at all. So it's more about like, I think confirmation bias or placebo. Well, well I guess I don't know who's a clear winner. Jeff voted mine. I guess we're going we to have to try to grab Van over and he'll be the tiebreaker. Yeah. Later on. Benny! 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 Someone call the captain for help. Do you know the weight between the two quads? Because the 207 should be heavier than the 23. It's the same quad with different motors. That's all I know. <laughs> Basically, we made this as scientific as possible. Feel a difference here. I already know I'm gonna feel it. Can you feel the weight difference? Oh my! God. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. They feel about the same, but this definitely feels lighter. But all four grams. You without you here, the do this. Do it. No, do it. Yeah. No, do it completely blind. I'm not even kidding. You. Okay. Here's one. Okay. And here's here's the other. Right, and I'm just like. Which one is Drew's? Well, they're both Drew's. No, which um, one is Drew's motors? The lighter ones. This is Drew's motors. Oh! oh okay. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna notice the difference immediately. Oh. I think Jeff's motor is like 35 grams, and then Drew's motor is like 31 grams, something like that. So you add that, it's like a 16 gram difference between the two. So. Which makes sense. All right, get those goggles on. Yeah, I know. Quit, quit showing off. All that pressure. Oh, you turned off the voltage and everything. Oh, everything. I hate you. Yeah. yeah. This quad flies good. Oh, it's not as strong on the top end as I'm used to, but. What else is challenging for me is Drew's quads are really heavy, so it's going to feel a little bit different. I may not be able to notice which one's what just by flying this quad. I'm probably going to have to fly the other quad to tell the difference. It feels good. It's pretty powerful. It's hard because they're both... I have a lot of time flying both motors, but I've never actually put them up against each other, and I still think I'm not going to notice a big difference. Wait, 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 you still think before you're like, I'm going to be able to tell just by smelling it. Basically. I never said that. You said it. I heard you say those exact words. You were talking words. about smelling motors. You right. said you could smell a difference from a mile away. I think that's what you said. I never it's ever on said camera. That. I could smell which one that was. You don't have to guess until you've flown both, but yeah, no. No, but if you want it, but you question. think which do you think it is? Did you say? I'm thinking maybe it's 23 or 6, but I'm not sure. It's definitely flying for a long time. And when I punch out, I mean these are new batteries, I guess. But it definitely doesn't have that same sag with the 207. You're gonna on four cell. You're gonna get more battery sag when you punch out. All right, bring it in. 
All right, no, no taking the goggles off. Let's get ready to rumble. Two to a seven. One hundred percent. You're probably not one hundred yet, but I'm pretty confident. Like first punch out, you just know. You can hear the sound of it. I yeah, mean, it does have a very different sound. You think you can just hear it? It does sound really different from the other motors. This quad does from the other one. So. I mean, it just sounds way more powerful. Let me find some. But the quads feel very similar. Like, I actually was expecting to feel a big difference, and it's not a big difference. This one is definitely more powerful, though. All right, so final answer is which is better, and which do you think it is? I don't know. I, I want to say this is the 2207, but I want to be clear before I say that the quads flew a lot closer than I thought they would in terms of power. This just feels like it has way more power. And generally, from my experience, a quad with more power is generally gonna be the one with the bigger stator size. But whatever I'm flying right now, I definitely like more than what I just flew before. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah, I'm excited to see which one it looks. Can I take my... Go for it. Wow, oh. that was the drip motor. Wait, did I, so did I fly, it was the Vortex motors I flew the first time? Really? You not only was wrong. Was wrong. You were the Very only wrong. one. Was that the only you one? You were the only one, one, who only one that really? was wrong. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can go back to Texas now. I can go back. You right. can get the hell out of here. Oh, well, you can't <laughs> nice thing, nice thing, guys. I did truthfully prefer the way that the second one felt. And I flew Dream Motors for a long time for freestyle, like probably the last nine months going through 2018. So I was very used to those, and I've been flying the Vortex motors for freestyle recently. I would like to try it on one of my setups personally. That's what I was about to say. Do you think but, that because drib motors are on the heavier frame than what you're used to? Well, that's another thing too that I didn't take into account is that the that the, the, the drib motors are the, that the quad with Drew's motors is lighter, which I probably should have been thinking about in the back of my head when I was flying it, thinking, okay, well. This is a lighter quad, and again, that's kind of why I'd like to try it on one of mine. Truth be told, I, just, I swore they just put the same quad and just was a better battery because it, it felt significantly more powerful to me. Does it mean that I would switch to 23 or 6? No, I still think for racing, based on the, the spreadsheets and the amount of testing I've done in the last three months after Nationals, I still am very confident in that 2207, especially like a 2207.5 motor is, is better. I don't like spreadsheets. I don't like spreadsheets and but too this much is how, data. No, but the, you know, the thing is, what, what's cool about, see. you want to get in the air, of course, but you're not going to find a, an optimal maxed out setup until you run a bunch of tracks, 20, 30 packs on each, and yeah. then looking at the average lap times and, pour, and pouring it from the lap timer and just seeing what's faster. And for mm -hmm. me, whether one felt better than the other, at the end of the day, that's, that's important, especially for freestyle. But for racing, it's what's going to get the job done. Yeah. And I always was significantly about 0.5 seconds or a whole second faster. That being said, I know a lot of race pilots right now who just switched from 2207 to 2306 and are saying that it is really just saucy. Going back and forth. So and I think... Goes back. And, I, I, and I hear so many competing... Th like, my understanding is that the larger diameter stator of the 2306 should give you more low end while sacrifice more low end torque while sacrificing some high end power and that the 2207 is going to have more high end power but i've also heard the exact opposite yep. postulated if I you think. came here looking for true science you came to the wrong place we do some we do light science with, with a whole lot of fun this is fun science oh, fun science <laughs> quads flew okay your quads didn't fly as, as crappy as i thought they would it definitely is still like loose and out of control and your rates are like really weird like i don't understand why your roll rate when you like hit half stick just goes like this i don't know why you need that for doing precise <laughs> movements maybe that's why you don't fly as precise. anyhow um <laughs> if you do a similar test on your channel you can find Alex's channel, link in the description. All of our channels, all the Pilots yeah. channels are always linked in the description so you can keep up with whoever you like best. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. Alright, Jamie and Drew, thanks for having me down here to Florida to do this testing. I'm glad I was a part of it because it definitely changed my perspective on both motors a little bit. Like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure that you go and check out the Rotor Riot store where you can find both of these motors as well as tons of other awesome gear. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to go do some fly now. Sink clap! No!